Paul, desperately close to that first clean sheet of the season. How do you assess today's game and performance? Well, I think, firstly, I think uh, our goalkeeper got man of the match. I think that paints a picture to the, to the story. You know, we are a very inexperienced team at this minute, trying to find our feet without, with, without our, our backbone of the team. Uh, E.g. striker something to play midfield, you know, things like that. It, it, uh, it's not ideal. So, you know, in the end of the day, we've come up against a team that, you know, we're a promotion team last year, a very strong side, they played together, all together for quite a while now, they you know all their jobs. <clears throat> and that's something we're trying to aim, we're going to have to aim for. On the day, did Bristol Rovers deserve their victory? Yes, they did. Yeah. So, uh, it would have be been nice to take the point. It would have been a benefit and kind to us, but you know, they were the, the better side over the 90 minutes. We, you know, when you look at my bench today, you know, uh, the sending off as well was, was another you know, nail in our coffin. Everyone seems to be <laughs> going against us at this minute in time, but our job is to win football games. You know, when I, I said a week's a long time in football, and so you know, we go into the next week now. Uh, hopefully, we can pick up some points. It was two yellow cards. Any complaints about the, the sending off today? Uh, petulant, stupid, stupidity standing next to the ball. This kind of standing, uh, you know, in that close. You know, I mean, I'm saying, uh, I know he slow things down, but. You're always going to get booked for that one, and then he lunged in over the far side. So. And uh, I couldn't see it from here, but he, had to, he went, you know what I mean? Which again, sent another striker down, down in the midfield, which is uh, you know, not ideal. And uh, yeah, how short of options does that leave you in the centre of midfield, and does it heighten the need to bring somebody possibly into the football club? Oh, uh, budget's a budget. It's in, uh, you know, and then. Everybody, everybody's got this new ruling you've got to adhere by. You know, we're, we're top, 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 top. Uh, it's going to be a long te term thing for us for the simple reason we've got four probably definite starters that won't be back in the next six weeks. You know, which, we were, which I was kind of well, building my team around, you know, mm. basically. And then, you know, it's so disappointing to watch the confidence go out the team. You know, that's, but my job to rally the troops, my job to get them sorted again and, and we get into battle on Tuesday. Yeah, you're an experienced manager, that, that's the thing now, isn't it? You've got to make do with what you've got sometimes. An experience showed, showed dramatically today in, in certain aspects of the game. There was a definite uh, uh, naivety to their, to their place, mo mo a lot of them. You know, we, we bat, uh, you can't uh, knock them for effort. Uh, essence is we've got to get oh, three points as quickly as possible. Um, Art has had his good moments and, and bad moments at Yeovil, but he showed today that um, what a good goalkeeper he is. Yes, yeah, I'm saying he had a good day, good day at the office. I'm very pleased. I'm saying we've worked on quite hard this week, so uh, I think that paid off. But there was too many free shots going on for my liking, and, and in the end, you know, we, the pressure that they put on us the second half was, was always going to was going to be something was going to drop to them sooner or later but you know we had a very young side again I go back to it I think the whole, whole four of the, the back four the three of the back four are under 22 you know we're asking you know boys to do men's jobs at this moment in time but yeah, you know, I'm, I'm not going to cry over spilt milk <coughs> I brought these players here they're going to learn by hook or by crook either the good way or the bad way. Hopefully it'll be the good way, but as I said, uh, you know, they're going through a rocky spell at this minute. But we'll, we'll move on. Absolutely. Do you head to York and it's simply, it's result over performance at the moment? Well, then, as I said, you know, our midfield's now decimated. I think we've got fogged in. That's about it. Mm. So, <laughs> I'll have to come up with some weird and wonderful ideas for Tuesday. Yeah, and the positive as well, there's still 44 league games to go, so it is still very early days. You know, I think we, you know, the, the, we were looking forward to the start of the season, we were looking forward to being strong and, and have, having a, our full regalia to pick from. That's been taken away from us now, so the first thing we've got to do is, is, is try, try and patch up the, the start of the season, get a rhythm in a, to the team and get some points on the board. Then we can decide what we're going to do after that. I think we're... 
uh, you know, we've got uh, uh, we're six points adrift to four teams or something now, so we want to make sure that doesn't grow.